Hi there, it's Nicole from Mama Elephant, and today for the Stampede blog hop for November, I have some cute little treat bags here for the holiday season that showcase the new Treat Topper Creative Cuts die and the Lunar Animals stamps and coordinating dies. To start these treat, to or treat bags, I'm going to die cut a couple of the treat bag toppers from some Khaki Simon Says Stamp cardstock. I'm gonna die cut a couple of these. You could die cut as many as you needed. I'm just going to do two for my sample here today. And then I have some clear treat bags that I bought in bulk at a um, craft store, I think Hobby Lobby. Um, you can get these really inexpensively and then create your own bag toppers. Now I'm creating these for the holiday season, but these would be just as easy for birthdays, Valentine's Day, um, any type of holiday. I think these would be so fun. I'm stamping the Sending Holiday Hugs greeting from the Jingle Greetings stamp set using some black dye ink. I picked this greeting because I'm using some Hershey Kisses that are the um, peppermint uh, Hershey Kisses and I thought that the little hugs kind of would be cute to go along with that. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of a snowy look to the khaki cardstock. I love white pigment ink on khaki cardstock. This, these little tiny snow images are from the uh, Jolly and Mary greeting stamp set. This was a stamp set from last year's Mama Elephant holiday release, but I, these are just teeny tiny, so they work perfectly for this. And then before I finish the top of these bag toppers, I'm gonna flip them around here. On the back from the brand new mini messages stamp set, I'll stamp the to and from with the little lines there on the back. So this is just one of those things that'll make them great. Like if you were doing a bunch of these for the holidays or birthday parties or Valentine's Day, you can do your to and from so easily. I'm gonna finish up stamping a little bit more, thought it needed a little bit more snow. I'll do that for both of these. And then I'm gonna stamp the a, a couple of the adorable little critter images from the Lunar Animals stamp set on some smooth white cardstock. The Lunar Animals has tons of really cute animals and critters. I'm picking just a couple here for my card share today. I'm going to use the mouse and then I'm also going to use the monkey. I'm gonna stamp it just a couple times to make sure I get good images. And I really, originally I thought I would do the, the little mouse on each of the treat bags, and then I thought it would be fun to try another little animal because these were so fun to color. I'm coloring in my images with Copic markers. They're stamped on smooth white cardstock using Memento Tuxedo Black ink. The Santa hat is from the Arctic Penguins stamp set, another stamp set that was new last holiday season. I love that you can mix and match the Mama Elephant stamps to create your own custom designs. I'll finish coloring in this cute little mouse here. He's kind of in very light shades of tan. I achieved this by using some very, very light E colors and then a little bit of pink for the insides of the ears and cheeks. All the colors I'm using are shown across the bottom of the screen. I'm using R24 and 29 for the Santa hat and then a little warm grays as well for the white areas in very, very light warm gray colors. For the monkey, I'm gonna use some browns for the darker areas and then again, those very light E colors for the face and a little R00 for the cheeks. And I'll smooth all that out here. I'm gonna pull in a little bit of that darker color and blend it out with my E55. I think the monkey is just adorable. All of the critters are adorable. And they're gonna be lots of fun to use in so many different ways. I'm gonna go back in with my dark now and just pull in a little bit more of that dark color. I felt like it blended out just a little too much. I lost um, a little bit of that depth and dimension with the shading by blending it out too much. So I'll go back in and pull in a little bit more of that. 
finish with a little bit of dark here and there. And then I'm going to die cut them with the coordinating Lunar Animals dies and attach them to the treat bag toppers with some glue dots. These are some really sticky, strong glue dots. They'll ensure that when I place those images on the treat bag toppers, they are not going to go anywhere. I'm using some smaller bling glue dots for the hat. And I will do the same thing for both of them. Finish with a little Sakura black gel pen for the eyes and some white dots on the cheeks for both of the animals. I'm going to fold the treat bag topper in half on the score line there and use a Teflon bone folder to really get that crease nice and flat. Then I'm going to fill my little treat bags with some Peppermint Hershey's Kisses. Place that right underneath and then I'm going to use a tiny attacher to secure this. You could also use a strong adhesive. Uh, you could use a sewing machine. You could poke holes in the treat bag topper and tie it closed with ribbon or twine. Lots and lots of different ways to secure that. Thanks for watching this video showcasing the treat bag topper die and the Lunar Animals Stamps and Coordinating Dies. The supplies I've used are listed and linked below the video on YouTube. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.